I want to bring in the Attorney General of the State of Missouri, Andrew Bailey. Mr. Attorney General, welcome to the program. It's great to see you here, sir. Uh, you just filed a lawsuit to stop Biden from forgiving more student debt. On what grounds are you suing? Well, first of all, this is personal for me. I paid for my school and service in the United States Army and went to law school in the post 9 11 GI Bill. So, paid for my school in blood, sweat, and tears. At the end of the day, this harms Missourians, and we can't let Joe Biden saddle working Missouri families with Ivy League debt. Missouri has standing in this case because we have an instrumentality of state government, the Missouri Higher Loan or Higher Education Loan Authority, that administers uh, payment and repayment of student loans. And so the last plan that Biden put forward would have cost Missouri taxpayers $44 million, more than a half trillion dollars nationally. And we anticipate this, this plan is going to cost Missourians exactly the same amount, if not more. We know nationally it costs more. So we can't let Joe Biden saddle working Missouri families with Ivy League debt. That's why we've got to keep pushing this suit forward. We're excited to fight to protect from this illegal redistribution of wealth. Biden says he's also pushing for free community college. Watch this. Roll it. I also want to make, and I've been pushing this, and if I'm reelected, I'm going to push it hard. We're going to get it done next time, is I want to make community college tuition free. So you won't need loans at all. You cut in half the cost of going to college. If we do this, the economic gains will far outweigh the cost, and that's not hyperbole. That's the truth. Okay, Mr. Attorney General, uh, free community college tuition. Will you sue against that too? Well, if he does so illegally without any congressional authorization, we absolutely will. I mean, that's the whole point of this. It's a separation of powers issue. The Constitution gives the power of the purse to the legislative branch, not the executive branch. And unless Congress explicitly authorizes this redistribution of wealth, it's illegal. He keeps President Biden keeps pointing to these vague references in statutes saying that somehow he has authority uh, to redistribute this wealth. But the court has found that uh, Congress never explicitly authorized this. And when you have a program on the, this order of magnitude, this enormous political, social, and economic impact that Congress has to be explicit. So it's a rule of law issue. It's a constitutional issue. And that's why we're fighting so hard to put a stop to it. Mr. Attorney General, State of Missouri, thanks very much for joining us. So we appreciate it, and we hope you come back soon. Thank you.